All right, so here is my water cycle. I'm gonna let this video sit and you can watch what happens. So remember, there's ice up here. It's very, very cold and this is hot, hot, hot water. So notice what's going on around. What do you think that is? That's first question. So this has been going on for about two minutes and you should be seeing <clears throat> Uh, this is all steam. This is all evaporation trying to happen. Okay, so it has been five minutes and 30 seconds. And notice there is droplets forming at the bottom of this cup. And so that is very similar to the water cycle. So now we're just gonna anxiously wait and see if we see any drops fall into the cup, into the bottle. <coughs> I'm gonna write five minutes and 30 seconds. So do you see those drops? They're very close to falling. So this is very similar to the water cycle because this is hot water and that's basically what the sun will do is it will make this so hot that it will start to evaporate and that's why there's all this steam around here. This is the water vapor in the atmosphere and then it comes up into the atmosphere where it's colder and so what happens is up here, higher up in the clouds, it's colder. And so this water will evaporate and then it'll get cold and it'll turn back into a liquid. And when you have so much liquid and it gets heavy enough, the drops will fall and guess what? That's like your rain. So actually what I'm gonna do, just so y'all can see this water cycle better, so I'm gonna go in and kind of wipe away this steam there. That should help. You should be able to see the little droplets at the bottom of that cup. And it's just gonna get heavy. It's gonna get heavy and then it's gonna fall very, very soon. I wish you guys were actually in school to see this but this is known as condensation. When water vapor comes up into an atmosphere where it's colder and it turns back into a liquid and that like in our water cycle, a cloud will form. And then when you have that cloud and it just gets heavy enough, water starts to fall and there's your precipitation. So let's just wait. It's gonna rain very quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's just, all right, we're gonna let that keep going. And for now, we are going to, oh, my camera got flipped, hold on, hold on. Oh dear, how do I flip the camera? Oh gosh, we are in a problem. Actually, it doesn't matter, I can still do this. So we're gonna illustrate uh, the water cycle. So um, <clears throat> one thing I saw definitely in my water cycle was all the steam. So I'm gonna just use gray. There's so much steam around this cup. It's mainly up here. This is all the steam. And then I'm gonna use blue just because like, you know, we think of, uh, we think of water when we think of blue. And so um, I'm gonna show the droplets forming around the cup. I have done this experiment so many times. I did this when y'all were in third grade. 
I did this in the first six weeks of fourth grade where we uh, took a cup and I put colored ice in here and we noticed that the water on the outside of the cup was clear. I did this on purpose so you understand these droplets are not coming from inside the cup. They are a result of water vapor droplets in the air And because this is more of a colder area, they will start coming towards here and then creating little droplets. And then just with enough time, it will drop again. So I'm gonna show a little bit of evaporation kind of going like that. That's kind of like the best way I can describe this. Okay, and now I'm going to label. <clears throat> so we have, let's see, evaporation. And I know this is going to probably show up backwards. Sorry, very, very sorry. I thought flip the camera and that will show the, the project better. I'm so sorry. Um, over here, condensation. And I know this is going to show up backwards. I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it on the next slide so you can copy the words correctly. And then this blue is precipitation. Now, one thing I wanna share with you is that when water gathers in an area, like pretend this is an ocean, right? Don't even pretend like this is just water that is on the sidewalk or something. This is called accumulation. It's the gathering of water. And so then the sun heats it and then it evaporates and then we have condensation and then it drops again. So go ahead and illustrate that in, um, on your paper. So sorry for the backwards writing, but you get the idea of what I'm trying to do. And then um, I'm gonna flip my camera so you can see my water cycle again. Okay. So, Oh, hang on. Okay, I am like trying really hard here to show this. Okay. Whoa, look at all that water. Let me just remove this steam again. And hopefully you'll see some droplets happen. Give it a second, it's coming, it's coming. My timer is still going off, or my um, stopwatch is still going. Some droplets may have fallen, but I got busy writing, and so I, I didn't record it, but, um, you know, there you go. You see the droplets, see the rain? There we go. 13 minutes and 13 seconds is when it happened.